Okay, Fat Stormtrooper here. I'm just going to talk about hacking or cheating. The Administrator, this quote, Nothing stokes my ire like a cheater. Deception, duplicity, murder, these are merely tools in a toolbox one can use to ensure a job well done. But cheating? I can't even wrap my head around the point of it. Wouldn't, wouldn't you know you had cheated? How on earth could you maintain crisp certainty of your superiority to, to all others? And if you're unable to do that, what is the point of anything? Hacking is a uh, term that describes the use of third-party programs to an alter a game and an unfair advantage. Some people call that cheating because these people are often script boys that know nothing more just how to download things or put a bit of script in, but they don't actually understand the full process. So, pe so a lot of people prefer cheating than hacking. To understand, I guess, you know, you have a glitch. Sometimes you have a glitch and the glitch can... Um, can advantage you but then if it's using a known glitch to advantage you with knowledge that's called an exploit and then the next step up is using script or another program to enable an unfair advantage that is cheating or hacking and yeah the latter means that you are introducing another piece of script or another program into the system and by d default you must have knowledge of it an exploit, you're using the existing mechanics and faults of the games. And I guess, technically speaking, that is just one of those things that you acquire from learning. And if the, the game producer uh, chooses to patch that uh, exploit, then, then that exploit's over. Um, so most of the hacks take one of the following forms. The so-called engine hooks, which piggyback the client and report and report false information on the server. Game information interception, which record and report game data that should be hidden, like the so-called wall hack, uh, ESP hack. Um, engine exploits, which alter the, uh, the game to the player's advantage, like an aim bot or a trigger bot. Um, Hackers can be reported by pressing the function 7 in game and sending an abuse report. Even though VAC automatically bans players over time, this will notify VAC of new hacks and all the reports used. So I encourage you, if you think someone's hacking, report them. Um, the type of the common hacks is the aimbot. They automate um, aiming and firing without any input. Um, and the so-called fidget spinners, you've seen those on the, the servers. The so-called silent aim, it's identical to an aim, but except it forces the, ha uh, the hack client and spectators not to see the actual aim bot. Um, yeah, so it's... Uh, but basically it locks onto the enemy um, while you're aiming in a different direction. Trigger bots, th they actually uh, don't automatically fire um, uh, it makes it look less suspicious. Uh, wall hacks, I've just talked about. ESP, um, it gives people the extra, extra, all the information of the game. A speed hack um, allows you to have more commands um, and, 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 and gives you an unfair time advantage. Spin bots, um, making nauseous, sickle noise over and spectating, uh, thwarting others' aim bots. Uh, Tapping hacks um, basically uh, allow, um, allow allow the uh, the hacker to um, uh, um, lag the server out. Some people also call them so-called DDoS attacks, but they're not quite the same. Uh, removals um, take away certain things in the game. Um, basically, um, the screen effects for bleeding and gerate. Um, allow weapon spread, um, so you 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 got a much more effective range for range for certain weapons. Um, critical hacks, so crits um, uh, become enhanced. Achievement hacks, well, this so-called Steve Achievement Manager. Um, if you if you get somebody who's got 520 and 520 achievements on Steam, um, basically that person is a hacker. Um, there's, <laughs> there's not many people that have got 520 achievements, and I don't even know if it's. Well, I, I see people with thousands of hours and not that. So, if you see someone 520 and 520, they have delved into the world of hacking, and in my opinion, that's 
that's they should be banned from the, from the from everything and there's so many of them they send me friend requests if i see 520 out of 520 is steve i ignore you or block you um basically um um there's also cvar manipulation so okay these these are the types of hacks now what i'm really writing this well i'm actually doing this video on is a fact that there are a lot of a lot of uh, uh, sites that openly advertise hacking this is one in particular that really shits me donate 20 and you get premium access to be uh, auto air blast auto backstab aimbot and they claim they claim protected against VAC with unique loader. Customizable aimbots, including visible aimbot projectile prediction. Sniper rifle for instant headshots. Uh, this is corrupting a game. Surely, surely Valve should have some capacity to take some sort of legal action against these pieces of shit. And there are so many people that trademarks belong to their res to their respective owners okay well you it's just like okay we'll come back to the idea of when is it uh, okay to hack a product now the bottom line is i think never and i think valve has been really strong recently with this abstractism thing and the alleged crypto mining and the mimicking of items they've been strong legally they've taken a very strong stance against opskids uh for uh uh, for not uh, complying with uh, uh, trade requirements. I think they need to take a strong stance against these people because they make my experience as a gamer less pleasurable. Also, as somebody who is a who likes to sort of integrate with the community, I like to spend money on the game, I am probably more of a financial proposition than these people who probably don't put much into the game community financially um, and these people, are, these people here are mopping up revenue that really is, shouldn't be theirs because they are wrecking the game experience for paying people like myself and, and, and so many other of you guys in the community who, who play Steam, we buy, as a player, uh, Steam games in particular, TF2, we, we buy keys, um, we might buy items from the shop, taunts, whatever. We are your paying customers. As somebody who is a customer, these people are wrecking my experience and are probably, you know, not the sort of people that are, are collecting or buying uh, your products uh, as much as I am, for example, or, or others like me. So let's have a look at the next one. There's another program, Unknown Cheats. I mean, I would not click on a, a link like this. You don't know what viruses you're going to get. Um, they even got their own moderators. Support the community by tri contributing a wiki. They actually allege this is a community. Leading game hacking since 2000. S <laughs> you're letting them use your icon. Um, Valve is letting them use their icon and, and LMAO box to advertise uh, aimbots. Um, uh, how to troubleshoot your aimbot. Um, my God, you know, these people are asking for advice on how to fix their cheat programs. Strong action. What is what is needed? Multiplayer game hacking. Oh my fucking god, you know? This is another fucked site. And it's got all of these... I mean, look at this. Steam, there's all of this stuff here. I mean, Microsoft, they've got Minecraft hacks. You know, why are people sitting on their asses? Sitting on their fucking asses and not... F these people are, are fucking wrecking the game experience for other people. Um... Main account ban for multiple abuses TF2 hacking accounts. Um, cheats, bypass, all this sort of shit. I mean, I'm looking for a bot. I mean, you know, these people are wrecking the game experience. Why aren't legal... Why isn't legal action being taken? 
Beca do you know why? Because the perceived consequence of legal action is not there, but the perceived consequences is wrecking my experience. Now, I'm still going to play the game, but there are games where I just quit and I come back another night. And I, I guess if it happens often enough, then I maybe stop playing the game altogether. So I think the latest patch where they've cramped down on cheating is a great step forward, but these sites also need to be taken down. I want cheats.net, the number one rated cheat website in the world. Number one, I wouldn't wipe my ass on your face, dickhead. I mean, at the end of the day, TF2 is undetected and won't get you banned. Well, unless someone reports you. Um, look at this. ESP, you know when someone's coming. What is the... What is the fucking goddamn you know, aimbot? You know, what what is uh, you know critical hits? You could you could determine you know which is your target. Um, ESP player boxes, 2D radar, so you can see where their boxes you can hit. Character hacks, wall hack, um, all these things they list this here. They uh, and they have a friends list. So you don't aimbot your friends. I mean, for fuck's sake. You guys are vermin. Fucking vermin. And this one here actually calls itself TF2 hack. It actually uses TF2, the name of someone with TF2, the registered trade name, and it actually advertises it and it's a TF2 hack. I mean that is just blatant fucking oh my god. Auto detonate when enemy comes near. Okay. Silent aim. Even when you're not aiming at them. But auto backstab when you're behind an enemy. Automatic air blast. Any projectiles go well what's the point in learning how to air blast if your fucking thing does it for you? Easily perform rocket jumps with the press of a button. I, I'm shit at rocket jumping, but I shouldn't be good at it because I can't pick it up. And at the end of the day, if I'm a soldier, I'm a ground infantry. I'm not exactly one of these guys running around market gardening. I would only ever play a soldier in a map where there's confined areas because I am no good at rocket jumping and I just have to suck it up. I try, I practice, but I still suck. But this, I shouldn't be able to use this shit to get an advantage on somebody else because I suck at rocket jumping and I'm, I'm good with that. Some, some people aren't. Auto heal. What about the heal players around you that need it? Well, why don't you just look at them, look at their health part and heal them and actually play the fucking game rather than have to cheat? Now, I'm just going to sort of go completely out of the tangent here. Now, I mean, what would happen if you found, for example... Someone, I mean, this is a Chinese hacker's fight over a dozen vulnerabilities of a BMW car. More or less, you can hack a BMW and cause it's in the uh, in-car computer to fuck up fuel options, to stall, to do all sorts of fucking shits. Okay, okay the um, uh, the uh, the TCU, um, uh, which is the central nervous system of the car, uh, basically. Uh, can affect uh, accident services, get you to, the car to have fault, funny messages on there saying uh, the car's need electrical problems. Um, it can potentially, um, uh, it, it, it could also potentially allow uh, someone to take over control of the affected vehicle to some extent. Um, so basically, if this Basically, <laughs> you had a situation where a vehicle could be hacked and cause a physical accident, and BMW found that someone like you know BMW hacks. Do you think BMW hacks would last long on the internet? Do you think LMAO wreck your car would last long on the internet? For fuck's sake, Valve, try and apply what would be acceptable in other industries. To what we expect as customers. I think at this point these websites should go. I just would want to welcome everyone's opinion. They really, really need to do something. I mean, look at this. Reddit hack. 
emails, passwords, private messages stolen. Hack, 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 hack. Uh, you have to stem. Um, you have to stem it somewhere. Um, uh, somewhere, because otherwise it'll just keep on going. Now, I must say that Valve has been very good in terms of uh, implementing in TF2 and CSGO uh, ways in which uh, there's an enhanced a a a detection of hacks and enhanced banning, and I've certainly seen less hackers. But the ne the other step is just to make it so that these, these websites should not exist. They are actually gathering revenue out of doing something which, you know, if you were gathering revenue out of uh, allowing people to hack a BMW car, you would go to jail. This is just, I mean, it's the same, I, I view it as no different. You are interfering with a product that I've bought. I mean, the BMW car, sure, you take it over and crash in the post, there's life-threatening consequences. But at the end of the day, you are interfering with a product, okay? And these people, this one's my pet hate, these people are interfering with my experience as somebody who's a paying customer. And that is what aggrieves me the most. Peace.